If you've got an image, you probably want a frame for it. Well, you can create some really amazing frames as well as some very basic frames. Doesn't have to be all distorted like this. This can be used to create very basic frames for any image. So how to do it? Well, the key thing is a basic shape right from the start. Go to the Tools panel and select the Diamond tool. With the Diamond tool, just click and create a diamond. Now you can use any other shape. So what sort of shapes would you like to use? Star designs? Anything can be used. And of course, you can also create your own shapes just by simply going over here and using the Pen tool. So if you've got no design that you want particularly, the Pen tool is great for creating your own. Okay, with this, what you can then do is you can, with it selected, Go up here, make certain there's no fill. So just up fill here and just click here or here. So it just got completely hollow. Obviously a frame, you don't want to see obviously anything there. You want to be able to see through it. But you want this stroke, this edge. And you can set the color here, just click there. And you can set the color to gradients or a solid color. And also you can change the width. So I'm going to go with a fairly large, but you can reduce it down, increase it, and I'm going to fill it with other things. What sort of things would you like to fill it with? Like gradients. You can also fill with shapes, many other designs, but I'm going with brushes. So brushes, go to the brushes panel. But before you do this, you need to rasterize it. So layer and just down to rasterize. So just rasterize. Before that, it was a shape, a vector design. Now it's a pixel layer and you can select it. So select and selection from layer. And that's it. That's all you've got. That's the only thing in that layer. And it's all selected now. You can see the marching ants around there. And you can fill it with a brush. And I'm just going to go with ink splatter. Just select that. You've got a section so it won't go any further, just confines it just to that area. And you can change your colors. And I would suggest go to the swatches. So swatches, really great. Or just change the color via the panel here. So select that and now apply. And go to the brush tool, because if you do that, you're just moving it. So let's just go to the brush tool and there's the paintbrush tool. Paintbrush tool and apply. And now just fill it. Well, at the moment, it's just filled with blue. So let's just make certain that's that color. And of course, you can fill it with other colors as well. So select maybe a green. Of course, you don't have to use that paintbrush. You can use all kinds of other ones. There's also other paintbrush tools you can use, such as Mixer. That's really good just to blend in things. Also, maybe apply some smearing or smudge, just go to that. So you can click that and apply that. And you can see as you do that, you can create some unique design which blends those colors in. So once you create it, you can really create some truly unique frames for your design. What you can then do is select and deselect. Don't need the selection anymore. I'm not gonna add any more paintbrush or strokes to it. Go to the move tool and I can manipulate this further by adding a, an edge to it, an actual 3D effect. So right click, and go down to layer effects. It's a great source of all kinds of shadows and 3D. I'm gonna go with 3D. I wanna give it a bit of depth. So select that and then 3D and then change the radius. And you can see as you do that, just increase it, decrease it. You push it up to say 100 and you get this lovely round and it really starts to look like a frame. Also, you may want like a shadow to it. So out of shadow, click that and select it. And you get all these settings and you can change it, radius, offset, intensity. Just change it, tweak the values and you reduce down, increase it, push the offset. You can also use the offset tool. So you can manipulate that further and you can see, move it around and reposition that to a slightly better effect. And close. Now frame, 
probably perfectly okay if that's all you want. Just a basic shape. And again, as mentioned, what sort of frames would you like to use? Star designs? Well, you can do exactly the same with stars. Or circular designs? Just use an ellipse or use a square design. Anything can be used. But you can also manipulate this because you might not want this regular design for your frame. Or well, you can distort it, modify it. Real good tool, I would suggest, is deform. But before I do anything further, I'm going to rasterize this whole thing. It turns it all into a solid, single layer, no layer effect. So right click, and you can go down here and rasterize. And it'll come up with this panel. Simply click this, make certain you deselect that, and rasterize. So it's rasterized. It's now all a single pixel layer. So window and layers, go there, there it is, just pixel. No effects, you can see there's no FX on the other side. And now you can manipulate it. So go to filters, distort and deform. Select that and then simply add some pins. And you can manipulate it. And you can manipulate it in many different ways with this. Adding the pins, and that just means you can just drag parts of it. And you can distort it, so you can just create maybe a more unusual, maybe add some design like that, and click there, and you can see as you do that, you've got something slightly more unique than your basic standard edge. And you can do this obviously with multiple, three, four, 10 different pins added, something like that, and click apply. Well, now, that's it. But to create even more unusual designs, maybe create multiple copies. Now, you don't have to use a special feature, which I'm just going to show you. You can simply hold down the Alter Option key and drag. And you can then resize that and move that around, reposition it. Creates an interesting sort of even more depth to the frame. And simply maybe rotate it as well. And you can repeat that. So hold down the Alter Option key. Alter Option, that is. It's on the keyboard. Close to, to the Command or Control. And you can see you can do that. And you can create some truly unique designs, which can then be selected, all added. They're just layers. So Window and Layers. With that, you can select them all. And right-click and Group and Rasterize. However, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to apply a special quick trick that's always useful, and that's with the Move tool selected here, press Return or Enter on the keyboard. This brings this panel up, Move slash Duplicate. And this is great because what you can do, you can scale, transforms, rotate, all kinds of different things. So go there to Duplicate. You just have to set that. Unfortunately, it's the way it's done. And you can then access the number of copies and you increase the number of copies. Now, nothing will change, but what it does, it creates multiple layers, lots and lots of layers. But that's not updated until you click OK. What you can then do is scale and you can just reduce it down, say 97, 98. And obviously, if you create a few less copies like that, you've got all these copies here all duplicated and you create even more depth to your design. And also you can add in some rotation. So just a bit of rotation to create a truly unique frame design. And then click OK. And you can see what happens. It generates all these layers. But as before, you can simply select all of them. Just select them all. And then right click and group. That groups them all. If you don't do that, when you rasterize, it'll end up with just lots and lots of layers. So Let's just right click again and rasterize and it makes it all one single design. And there is your quick frame. Very simple. And this can be done from any shape, any diamonds, stars, anything. And you can apply any kind of brush, all kinds of different effects, as well as, of course, other brushes and distortions as well.